The online 50-50 has opened up an incredible fundraising opportunity for the Edmonton Oilers Community Foundation. Now, throughout this current Oilers season, the ELCF has been hosting several special nights of the online 50-50 to support local charities. Now, the net raise uh, from Saturday's 50-50 raffle against Calgary will support the Central Alberta Child Advocacy Center in Red Deer. And that's my cue to bring in Chris Russell and Casey Russell, who have been involved with the CACAC for a number of years. Guys, thank you so much for doing this. Can you guys maybe just talk about how and why you first got involved with the CACAC? We first got involved when Chris was playing in Calgary. Uh, we toured the advocacy center down there with Sheldon and just couldn't believe how many children it helped. And so we just thought that there was a need and we just wanted to be involved in whatever capacity we could. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it was, uh, we got uh, my agency there uh, through Dennis Blanche, we met Sheldon and we were, like Casey said, we got the opportunity to, uh, you know, visit the center and it, you know, it brought light to a lot of things that maybe, uh, you know, the average person doesn't realize what's going on behind the scenes and um, it opened our eyes up for sure and it was definitely, uh, you know, a cause and uh, that we wanted to be a part of and, and help in any way. And for those who don't know, Chris, who is Sheldon? Sheldon Kennedy. Yeah. Yeah. He's, uh, you know, obviously there's growing up in Alberta or people around this area know his story quite well. And he's an incredible person and, uh, you know, just getting the opportunity to meet him and, um, you know, what he's done for, you know, these organizations and bringing this to light that, it, uh, it's all obviously a, a huge thing and it's a very important issue. And, uh, um, it's, uh, it's only going to benefit uh, the families going forward uh, if we can keep raising money and keep uh, being involved in this. Yeah, it's incredible. The center serves 82 communities in central Alberta and is aimed to provide wraparound to support children and families who need it. So, Casey, why did you feel like it was so important to support this initiative? I don't know. There's just, I guess my background's in teaching and I just... Think that sometimes you know children are going through things that we really don't know that they're going through and it definitely opened my eyes and so I just wanted to kind of use our platform I guess and spread awareness and even if it reaches one child to let a child know where they could call then I mean that's definitely helped and yeah, I don't know yeah I mean, just yeah it's just I think once we finally got to the center and seen everything that went into it and the way the centers operate, how it's, uh, you know, beforehand it was kind of, it could take a few weeks for children to get out of certain situations. And now with these centers with having our, or having the cops and everyone under the same roof, it, uh, it speeds the process up and it uh, obviously helps uh, the people in need and the families. So um, once we've seen that, it was important for us to, you know, stay involved. I think one of the yeah, things- Oh, sorry. We couldn't believe that a child before would have to tell their story so many times and it would re-traumatize them. And so we just liked the idea of how a child could go in there once and just tell their story one time and all the agencies work together rather than working in their own silos, as Sheldon would say. Yeah, as you mentioned, it takes a lot of courage for a child to come forward and, and share that someone has hurt them. And the CACAC provides that platform without judgment to provide a a safe and comfortable space for them to share their story and provide guidance and support. So Chris, you mentioned that uh, you've been involved with this program even since your Calgary days. So when you first started playing in Alberta as a pro hockey player, how have you supported in the past? I know you guys also did a toy drive in 2019 as well. Yeah, Case, yeah, Case actually did that uh, and started that in Calgary as well. And then she brought it into Edmonton, which, uh, you know, I think uh, gain some money and gain some awareness for sure. And then I was uh, doing every block shot. I, I'll donate some money. So um, it's uh, it's been it's been crazy. It, I mean, it's it's one of those things that uh, when you first realize there's something out there that's needed, like a situation, like a a place like this is needed. It kind of floors you a little bit, and uh, the more you here and the more you're aware and kind of in talking to the people that run these organizations and um it's something that uh 
it has to be spread. The word has to be spread. People have to be aware of it. Um, and, uh, you know, I think with, you know, we're just trying to do our little bit of part is just trying to get that awareness out as much as we can. In Red Deer alone this week, there was like 21 forensic interviews. So that's just like central over it. And I just, it's unimaginable. And there's so many more yeah. kids probably haven't even said anything, right? Yeah, it's, it's incredible the work that you do and this program does. But Chris, you mentioned uh, blocking shots. And for every block shot uh, that you donate some money, do you have a set amount? Because you're, you're, you're tying in on and coming close to setting the NHL record for those block shots ever by a player. Uh, I'm sure there's a lot of ice packs around the house, Casey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, no, is there a set amount there, Chris? Uh, no, it's just uh, it's just I have a certain amount of money per per block, and it was uh, I don't know. It's I wasn't scoring a lot of goals, so I felt like uh, for me to have a a good donation, it was have to be something like that. So it uh, worked out. Well, certainly doing it on the ice, and of course off of it as well. Oiler fans, please support children and families impacted by abuse by purchasing your 50-50 tickets for Saturday night's draw against Calgary. Chris, Casey, thank you so much for your time. Thank Thanks you. A lot.